For the next part of the gift series, I wanted to share some bath salts that I'm going to be making for a secret Santa this year. I'm going to be using a salt jar and once this is emptied and used up, I'm going to use the jar and then a combination of different salts and then herbs that I've grown in my garden. If you don't have a herb garden, which I think is perfectly fair to assume that most people won't, what you can do is you can go to the tea section in a shop and get things like chamomile tea, peppermint tea, rose tea, things like that and use the herbs in there. At least you know those aren't going to be, have been sprayed with anything. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to get something from a bouquet. So let's say you went to the shops, got a bouquet of chamomile and dried that. You do not want to use that because flowers that are in the shops get sprayed with preservatives just to make them last a little bit longer. Obviously that's fine if you have them in a vase. You don't necessarily want to be floating in the same bath water as them, so don't do that. If you don't have a herb garden, then just use some tea from the tea section and that will work as well. There are two different ways you could do this. You could just mix everything together in a bowl, which is also going to look very, very pretty, but today what I wanted to do is try and do it in different layers. So the bottom layer is going to be sea salt, then chamomile, then pink salt, and then I'm going to be using rose petals. Again, do not use any from a bouquet. These were grown in the garden, so I know that they don't have anything on them, and they also smell amazing. I'm quite amazed at how lovely these things smell. So after I've made this for my secret Santa, I think I'm gonna make some for myself because it smells incredible. Because I don't want to shake everything and mix it together, I'm going to be using the end of a spoon to flatten everything out before I add another layer. For the next herbs, I'm going to be using lavender and I have two kinds. This kind which I collected earlier on in the year and because it's a pink lavender and I got it early, it's much lighter. And then another one which is much darker which I collected a little bit too late. But I'm going to be mixing the two of them and putting a nice thick layer of that over the white salt. While the other herbs I've been using are very traditional as far as bath herbs go, I'm going to be adding some calendula, mainly just because I want a little bit of variety in the colour. I've already used pink and blue and red, but I would really like a bit of orange in there. So I'm going to finish off with some calendula. And then after that, I'm going to wrap this all up. And I'm going to be using some tissue that I've saved. Anytime I get any kind of parcel or buy a pair of shoes and it always has that really nice fine tissue inside, I save that because it's really lovely for using for wrapping up and there's so many different ways you can use it. Today I'm just going to wrap it very simply but around Christmas I am hoping to do a video all about different ways that you can wrap presents in really beautiful unique ways by just reusing stuff that would otherwise get thrown in the bin or that just grows in the garden. Today I'll keep it simple though and I'm just going to focus on making the top look a little bit more ornate so I'm going to be using some brown string and then making some tassels and to make some tassels even though they might not look the neatest there are better ways of doing this you just want to roll it around your fingers like this so you've done this three or four times take that string tie a knot in the middle fold it and then you're going to take the main cord wrap it around cut off any loose ends that you might have and keep wrapping it until it looks like this then you just want to cut those folds and it is going to be a little bit uneven at first don't worry about that just cut everything then flatten out the bottom and then what you want to do is take that brown string and you're going to make everything a lot more fluffy you could leave it like this if you want but I want it to be a bit more fluffy so I'm just going to run it between my fingers and once that's loosened up the cord I'm going to take the end of those scissors brush it all out and then cut the ends again to make it neat to finish off I'm going to tie that around the top of the jar and with all that extra tissue which is sticking out there are a few different things you can do you could leave it like this and then stain the edges to make it look like a flower but I will save that for another video and instead what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rip it down so it's a little bit shorter and then deliberately scrunch it so that it looks like it's got these lovely little waves right around the very top of the jar 
if you don't want to do this there are a lot of other ways that you can decorate it but for today I'm just going to stick to this scrunch it all up and then I'm going to be using some wax candles to add a seal I'll be putting some wax over the knot where I've tied those tassels just to hold everything in place but then for the top of the jar I want to use the seal that I normally use on any of my giveaway prizes or gifts just to make it look a little bit more finished and I think it just looks nice so that's what I'm going to do done. If you like my content and want to follow me on Patreon, that's where you can find my early content, extra content, and see the thought process behind things like my books, cover designs, videos, and artwork. You can also find me on Instagram, but the best place to follow me and make sure that all my new content is sent directly to you is through my website and the mailing list. On the top right hand corner, you put your name, the email you want your new content to be sent to, and that's it. You're done. <laughs>